guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So here for a bit of a play around um, today. I recently went to Ikea and um, I picked up some of these little fabric swatches. I mean, these are titchy. They're kind of like probably two inches by two inches. Um, but I managed to pick up quite a few in different, um, you know, fabrics and colours. I took a couple of their, or about four of their, um, you know, paper tape measures that they have in there got those and I also managed to get a couple of their food bags you know from the takeout section outside you know at the end of Ikea um, so I got three of those um, I have already taken the handles off of one so what I'm going to do is have a play around and see what we can come up with so you know crafting from Ikea basically Obviously, we will be adding things to this because this is very minimal things here. Um, but let's have a play around and see what we can come up with. So if I show you first what I have done, let me move those out of the way. So I have tea stained one of the tape measures. So I've tea stained it and I've dried it out. Normally, I iron all of my coffee and tea, tea dyed stuff, but I haven't actually... Excuse me, sorry, trod on my cup there where I was just moving my chair. Um, normally I would iron all of my tea and coffee dyed things. I didn't in this case because obviously it's pretty narrow, so you know I think it would be fine. So that's that, and then I also just took these two. I had you know two of each of these, and I've just tea stained them and um, dried them as well. So you know let's just see what we can come up with and have a bit of a play around really so I'm going to move these ones out of the way might use those might not we'll just kind of see and oh the other thing that I've got I've got one of these which um, my daughter found this laying around in there it was just um, you know where they have their price tag things inside in fact that is the price tag thing so that just slides in there so we may or may not use this I don't know you know I don't know what I'm going to create yet we're just going to have a play around and then I'm just going to use scraps and things that are laying around on my desk obviously by this point I think you will have seen my desk you will know that I'm not short of things to use and I've also there got um, our parking ticket so all I've done is coffee dye one side of it I didn't bother with this side because I'm planning on probably gluing that down so you won't really see it so I'll just pop that out the way. And obviously, as I say, with the bags, I'm going to just move these two out the way. And I've taken the handles off of one of the bags. So that's all I've, I've done so far. Now, I've brought along some book page. This is just some vintage book page. Um, so I might, I think, just make some sort of loaded paper bag or something. Um, just incorporating some of the bits and pieces that I managed to pick up. I mean, the idea being, obviously, to just show you... I'm just going to grab some more book page. Um, the idea being, obviously, to just show you what you can do, really, with freebies, basically, and very minimal things. Um, because, obviously, fabric swatches, you can pick them up anywhere. Um... Well, not, not anywhere, obviously, <laughs> but, um, you know, lots of furniture shops and things like that do fabric swatches. And actually, I think IKEA, the fabric swatches are pretty small because generally I think fabric swatches certainly in the UK seem to be about that size. So, you know, you could pick up those. Um, the tape measure, I'm not sure where else you would be able to get paper tape measures. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure, but you could possibly print some off. Um, would be another suggestion and paper bags I mean obviously you can get kind of paper food bags or paper bags in a variety of places so hopefully the idea being you could quite easily do this you know for crafting on a budget um, from a variety of sources basically so let's just get cracking with our loaded paper bag or well, it's not going to be loaded it's it's going to be an empty bag but ready ready for loading uh, so I'm just going to just start layering up some pieces, I think. So I'm just going to tear this down. As I say, I mean, I do not have a plan here at all. I'm just literally going to very much go with the flow here and just then see 
you know what evolves really from from what we're doing so it may it may go well it may not go well i really don't <laughs> don't have the foggiest idea at the moment so i'm going to use obviously um some stamps and things as well because i'm going to need some form of things to decorate obviously if i just pull in my fabric swatches again now this is a sort of i'm just smelling it yes this is actually leather a sort of leather swatch so i'm going to take it off of the card that it came on and actually i probably missed a trick there because i could have probably done something also with that again i don't know what but perhaps i'll try and just salvage that a little bit mm. well i don't know but we'll see um so this obviously as i say this is leather so what i'm going to do is with my stays on because obviously stays on is really good i mean you can pretty much stamp on anything i'm going to stamp onto the leather so i'll just get it nice and inky like that Oops. okay so i mean that's come out really nice on there so it looks really good let me see what else I've got here. Just having a look through my little stash of stamps. Right, I've got that tiny postcode, a uh, post postcard stamp. So we could maybe stamp that on there. I think actually the the postage stamp is going to be the best one on the leather, but just make sure that's coming out nicely. So we just pop that down like that. Okay, so that's a couple there. And obviously I have got, you know, the other ones there as well. So this is just a starting point because as I say, I really don't have the foggiest idea at the moment, the direction that I'm heading in. I'm not going to bin that scrap from the book page. Uh, now, so, I mean, obviously the thing that I didn't get from Ikea was the book page, but I mean, invariably, I think we've all got, well, the majority of us have got quite a bit of book page that we can use. I'm wondering whether I could have a sort of pocket down the side up there. That might be quite good. And then... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So just kind of glue this together. And I'm just gluing this together so it's got a bit more durability. I know I say things like this all the time. It's probably very boring. But just for anybody just tuning in who's not really kind of familiar with my channel, I just like to kind of explain what I'm doing so that you do know what it is I'm doing instead of wondering why is she doing that. So get my card and spread that along okay. so whilst I was at Ikea I managed to pick up um, a couple of pieces that I've started again you know sorting my craft area out so I will share those um, maybe not in this video but certainly I will be sharing those little bits that I picked up quite soon so um yeah hopefully you'll <laughs> hopefully you'll be impressed that I'm finally trying to get on top of my terrible mess so I'm thinking if I had that there now just wondering what to do with my little scraps so again I'm just going to peel this one off No, that one I don't think is going to be very salvageable, to be honest. I, don't know. I mean, I don't know whether these, whether I could really use them anywhere anyway, to be honest. But, I mean, they just add a little something, don't they? So, let me ink it up and just see, oops, see how that would look. I mean, as I say, I really, really don't know where I'm going with this at all. So, um, if it seems like a scatty video 
it's because it is. I don't have the foggiest clue where I'm going with anything here. Just playing around really. Now I'm just wondering, so I'm looking now amongst the rubbish that's laying around on my desk. Just wondering whether I could just sort of have something like maybe that. Maybe I could have this one up here. I mean, I'm not really saying that this adds anything, but it just kind of makes it maybe a bit more interesting. And actually, do you know what I just thought? Ooh, actually, let me just process for a moment. Hold on. Right, I'm going to stick this book page down first of all, because then I'm at least making a little tiny bit of progress. So I'm going to just pop that down on the page. I still keep meaning to buy a glue stick, so um, obviously still haven't. But um, I will eventually get round to buying a glue stick. Or some, some glue sticks. Thank you so much to those people who have kindly suggested. Um, it seems that the UHU, or U, U -U Glue, um, that seems to be the preferred brand that most people seem to recommend. Closely followed by, and I can't remember what the other brand was, it was a brand I hadn't really heard of, so I don't know whether it's something we get over here or not, but definitely we do get the Yoohoo, so, um, you know, I can easily source that. So, again, just seeing what else I've got here laying around. No shortage of, of bits and bobs here. And then this. Now, I was wondering whether I could have used this for anything like so as it became a tie for the bag. Um, but I think that's probably being a little bit ambitious, to be perfectly honest. So what I might do is just pop this onto here. Just hold it in place with some glue. Like that. Oops. And probably just a bit on the front as well. Like that. And then I'm going to get my crocodile. I'm going to attempt to set an eyelet. Now, I know I've talked about this before. I often don't have very much success with setting eyelets. So I hope that it's going to play the game today and not let me down, but there is just no guarantee. So um, let me just pull an eyelet out. What colour should I go for? The gold or the bronze or the silver? It's the gold. Silver. Actually, I've got a beige there. Perhaps I should go for the beige. I'm going to go for the beige because that seems to be the most um, subtle, I think. Now, this is where I will obviously not be able to set this. So, I have heard, I think it was Gail Agostinelli who said that she also has problems setting. So, woohoo, I think it has set. Um, so it's not just me, and I'm in good company, obviously, if Gail can't get hers to work either. But, I mean, it's such a shame because I absolutely love the punching ability. It's fantastic. But the eyelet setting ability, not so much. Right, I'm just taking my jacket off because I'm actually getting quite hot now. Oh. Excuse me. Um, right, oops. My jacket on the floor. Hold on. Sorry, I know that's not much fun. It's just I was quite chilly when I first started the video, and obviously now it's it's warmed up with the lights and everything on here. Right, now what have I done with my scissors? Oh, I have no clue where they've gone. Literally had them a few moments ago, and now they've disappeared. So let me grab another pair. Luckily, I've got my little tub there with lots of pears. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, all I'm trying to do is make this look really um, 
you know, lots of interest and nice grungy looking loaded paper bag really. So I'm going to cut this down. Slightly. Okay. Just had this weird thought whether just had this weird thought whether I could have just kind of gone down the whole edge layering these bits with with the eyelets, but maybe that's a bit strange. Maybe that's a bit strange, yeah. Right, let me ink up around the bag and what's going to be the pocket. So yeah, I mean, hopefully everything here is going to be really free. I mean, obviously I have used a stamp. I mean, I'm hoping or guessing that most crafters have got some basic supplies and by that it could be stamps it could be stickers it could be um you know pictures that you've cut out of magazines out of books I mean it doesn't have to be stamped pieces per se I'm just using stamped images I really like using stamps um and I think they're I'm just going to ink it off on this side as well I think they're um you know quite versatile in their uses but of course if you don't like stamp stamps or you don't have any stamps then by all means use what you've got to hand um, you know it doesn't have to be stamps I'm going to glue this pocket here like that so that this, actually I'm not going to do that yet. Right, let's come on to the back in a minute. One side at a time. Oh. This is very scatty, isn't it? Let me just check I'm in frame, because that'll be the next thing. I won't even actually be in frame for you guys to even be watching what I'm doing anyway. So we've got that there. And then, you know, this is a little piece that I've got from laying about on my desk so things like this I realise that not everybody maybe would have but again you can mix this with anything that you want so you could take a picture from a book you know you could take a drawing that you've done if you're quite artistic um, anything that you want that you think might just tie in and kind of produce a nice different look really Just deciding how I want this to actually look so I mean I quite like it like that to be honest that's quite nice isn't it and then these are just the lovely lilacs um, flowers from my lovely lilacs kit and I just thought they go really nicely on here don't they so again I mean obviously I realize not everyone will have that but you know that's where you could just cut some flowers from a magazine or something like that so what I'm going to do is cut this fabric down now as I say I have only got very tiny pieces of this so um, I hope this doesn't prove to be a huge mistake but I'm going to try and I think staple this across into a ruffle on here so let's just oops, pop that like that one two and then obviously these are not now the same same width but I mean personally I don't think that really matters and what you could do is also um, trim it down, you know, where the two pieces meet. And it would be less obvious then. 
so see here I just trim that down a bit it's less obvious anyway so you know that's how to make that little square the little square piece of fabric that we had it's just made it go a little bit further by doing that so right so that's that piece popping these bits down here and then I want to make oops, I think a little ruffly piece going across the bottom I think would look really cute so I'm going to tear this section off because I don't want the piece obviously that says Ikea because that's not very that's not very vintage is it I'm just going to literally ink that up a little bit more and then what I might do is just staple this ruffle here and then we can glue it down, you know, once it's actually already stapled. So, like that. Okay. And obviously it doesn't really matter that this is not very straight because um, I, mean, I quite like things when they're not too straight anyway but also when you glue it down you can just alter slightly how it's um, aligned on the page so I mean I know that some people would ruffle these in equal folds I you know I don't um, but if you wanted to do that you could do that so might just go right the way along the bottom, oops, like that. Come on. Oops. And actually what I might do is before I actually glue this down is I might decorate the other side because once this is then glued down I don't want to squash my ruffle completely so there we go okay so I'm going to tear that about there so I mean I think that looks quite nice like that and then I've also got those couple of stamped pieces that we did on the leather. So they were nice, weren't they? So we just ink those up a little bit. I'm just going to cut my postage stamp. Nothing like a bit of a bit of free crafting. There we go. Right. Okay, I'm just going around the edge and things so it's not looking really bright white. So I might kind of stick that there or something. And I had those big flowers, which what have I done with those now? Uh-huh, leave them up there. So I'm going to pop them down here, I think. I'll just ink them up nicely. Like that. Now, I just wonder, do we want anything going through that um, eyelet? Because is that a bit pointless otherwise having it there? Uh, just thinking what type of thing I could put there that's in keeping with our, you know, um, using things that most people would have accessible to them. So, I mean, I might just take my string because I just love string. In fact, to be honest, I might just even take the string. I mean, I could 
No, that's a bit strange, isn't it? I was going to say I could wrap it around, but that's a bit strange. Um, we could just have it like this with a bow. Let's see how that looks. Got my ruffle now. That's strange. I mean, obviously, I could punch a hole in the leather. Now, I'm not sure about my punching skills with setting an eyelet into the leather. Let me see first whether I've even got any tiny eyelets because um, I don't really tend to use those tiny ones very much. So I have got one. That... Oh, this is going to be a bit of a bit of a test. So right, let's try. So punch that my eyelet now this is where of course my setting is not going to be right for this tiny eyelet so ooh, mm -hmm. let's see <laughs> I assume it's the other one so uh, let's try squish that down well it's not really I think set it quite right but it's good enough so what I'm going to do because that eyelet's a little bit pink very pale but I'm not over keen on the, the look of it so I'm going to take my stays on just having a look because um, I have got a brown stays on somewhere floating about my desk right very messy here going to dip my finger into the stays on and just try and dab that a bit onto that metal just so it covers it up and actually I'm just going to go around the edge of the leather so it just stands out a bit more. Okay. Right. Messy, messy person. Again, <laughs> very messy. I've got some wipes there that I've been drying overnight, so they're all all ready for using. Right, let me cut that string down. What we could do, just thread that through. Oh my gosh. You see, this is where I am just not very good with the whole fiddly. And I think fiddly, not not my thing. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Now, do we want that sort of tied? Right, actually, I think what I'm going to do, sorry, kind of talking to myself now. Right, because I obviously hadn't really planned what I was going to do here with this um, video. It's very much on the fly, you know, winging it. So uh, you'll have to excuse my thought process while I'm just... <laughs> Just deciding how to use pieces. I like it like that, I think. So that's rather sweet, like that. And then I don't really like the IKEA showing, so I will endeavour to try and cover that up in a minute. Again, I'm not sure what's with. Um, let me just have a look, see what I've got here floating about on the desk. So, I mean, again, here I've got the word happy. So, I mean, I could pop that there. And just again, for those people who haven't got a whole desk full of rubbish to just pull from, I mean, you could just cut out a word straight from your book page. So, I mean, obviously, depending on the book that you're using, it probably wouldn't work too successfully if you were using like a Stephen King novel or something like that. But... <laughs> If you are using quite a nice-ish um, book, then hopefully you might have a word, you know, beauty or, I don't know, um, pretty or love or something like that, that you would be able to pull from your, from your book. So, there we go. So, I mean, hopefully... All of the things that I am pulling in are things that would be reasonably easy to get something similar. So maybe not the same, 
but something similar would be able to be achieved. Right, I'm going to glue my pocket down. I'll use my three in one. And the only reason I'm using that rather than my wet glue now is because I've got those staples. So I'm just thinking that maybe the three in one would be a bit stronger to use. So let me just put that down like that. Oops. Okay. Let's be careful I don't stick the string down now because that's just as likely to be honest. Okay, and I've not gone right to the edge of the bag. It's quite nice to have that just left over slightly. Okay, so press that down. And then we've got our, you know, postage stamp piece there. We could always have a little bit of tape measure in the background as well. So let me just tear that down. Again, let me just ink that up now. Okay. And I mean, there's an incredible um, temptation here to pull in some doily, but I mean, I'm aware that perhaps not everybody's got doily to use, so I'm not going to do that, but... <laughs> I, I would have liked to because I think the doily would have looked quite nice. So, okay. Just pop that. Oh gosh, it's now stuck on me. And again, I'm just going to have a bit of crease there. You know, I've put that crease in. Um, it was a natural crease, but instead of spread it out or spreading spreading it out, I thought actually I'm going to include the crease there because it just makes it look a bit more interesting. Okay. Pop my piece of um, postcard there. And I mean, again, if you didn't have anything like this, you know, use your magazine pages, or if you go online, you might be able to actually get little printed postcards or something similar like that I mean you could probably even you know make something up really um, right so just wondering whether I want to have a second one uh, yeah so I'm just going to have a second one there again just ink around that because I want it to look really grungy so just ink around there Okay, and then we're going to pop our ticket on with the flowers over the top and then what I'm going to do, because again I don't really want the Ikea showing, so just to try and demonstrate I'm going to try and find a word on here. And this is where I, of course, won't be able to find any sort of suitable word. Let me get my, <laughs> some other book pages, hold on. They're all sorted now because um, one of the things that I bought from Ikea, I've got beside me now with them in there. So, I mean, there's a word here, birdcage. So, I might just pop that on. Just moving those ready for another video that I've got lined up that <laughs> just looking at these pages the, these pieces would be perfect for so um, that's all I was doing that for right let's see I bet that's not going to cover that up now it's not really big enough so I think what I'm going to do if I just ink that up a bit so this is very much a waste not want not video 
So here, I've got the handle obviously that I tore off of the bag. Now it's a little bit on the thick side, just wondering whether I can peel it apart so it's not so thick now. Hold on. Because obviously it's just glued together really to make it thick, but I don't want it quite as thick as that. I mean again you know you don't have to do this I'm just doing this to demonstrate really that you really can use very minimal supplies you know we're just utilizing the pieces from Ikea other than these pieces which again you know you really can just use pieces from from a book from a magazine from anywhere at all so you don't really need special things you know all you need is a kind of gardening magazine or a gardening book or um i mean probably even a flyer or something with some pretty flowers in and you could then just tear them out and that would be your flowers right okay so hopefully that's going to cover that up a bit better now so ink that like that going to ink around the edge of the ticket okay so I'm going to just pop the piece on there and actually what I could do sorry I know I keep on um oh what I could do what I could do what I could do but it's just things suddenly occur to you don't they so I'm just going to take that piece of tape measure again and I just tore off a very small section just there I'm just going to place that along there because then that's going to cover that up completely and I don't have to worry about that showing at all so we've just popped that on there I'm going to pop that little word on like that oops come on Then we're going to pop our flowers on there. So we got there in the end. And this is only the first side. We've still got to do the second side. I'm going to try not to um, dither around quite so much for the second side. So she says, who knows whether I will manage that? Probably not. Right, there we go. So that's my ticket. Now, obviously, in fact, I'll keep that handle out in case we need to do anything similar over the other side. And don't forget, um, I've got my ruffle piece down here that we're going to stick on sort of towards the end. So for this, I'm just going to stick this on now. And to be honest, we could just stick that down like a little tuck spot. Like that. Okay going to be with the ruffle okay so that's on there like that so I'm not going to put the ruffle on just yet because as I say I don't want to squash it doing the back so now we're going to just do the back side of this so again I'm just going to decorate that I think with just some book page now obviously this book page is not wide enough for the entire um, bag so I'm just going to have a look and see how we want that because I could fill it in like that or we could obviously have it sideways on like that now personally I don't mind it sideways on so I think I'm just going to go for that so I'll just glue it down here got all sorts of threads now on my glue for some reason which is uh, very distracting not even sure where they're where they're from Maybe they're from the hot glue gun actually. Right. I'm going to try and pop this sort of text roughly in the center of the pocket. So like that. Get my spreader. This is where I would be squashing that ruffle completely, you see. Spread that out like that. And then I'm going to turn it over and just cut it in as close as I can to the bag like that 
that. Okay. So that's that piece. And then what I'm going to do, because these edges might not be quite perfect, I will just rough them up like that with my scissors. And then we're going to ink this up. And then that just looks really nice, doesn't it? And those rough edges, they just kind of bring that together, don't they? And just change the look of that, I think. So, um, a, yeah, a bit of a tip there that I think is really nice to use. Now, I'm now wishing that I had coffee dyed two of the um, tape measures. So I've still got my tea bag here beside me because I didn't want to do a mass load of coffee dyeing. I was just literally tea dyeing this this one piece. Oh my, my tea bag's now split. But So I'm just going to dab that along there and then I will just put it to one side to dry a little bit. So hopefully it will dry quickly because the tea bag obviously is not particularly wet. It's quite dry now and obviously as you can see the tea leaves are just now coming out of it. Again this is a, a how not to craft. How not to craft rather than how to craft. So Apologies there again for my slovenly crafting. I'm going to actually bin that tea bag now because I don't think I can actually get anything else out of that. So, right, I'm going to hang that over my drawer beside me to dry. Okay, so up here, I'm going to obviously use a bit more of book page because, you know, I haven't really got anything else much because we're obviously trying to be frugal and do our crafting just using bits and pieces that you might have. So, again, do we want to use any of this? No, not really. So I'm just wondering whether I could fill this in here. So what I'm going to do, I think, is trim this down approximately kind of in half. I mean, again, nobody's measuring. It doesn't need to be exact, you know. So that would just fill, whoops, oh, fill that in there. Very, um, <laughs> very shaky, wasn't it? Not very good. Right. So again, I'm going to cut down this paper just along there. Again, I'm going to keep that for something else. Not not for this video, for another video altogether. So, and I'm going to glue this on. Sorry about my threads that are just now literally all over my hands. That's very, very annoying. Right, try and pull them off of my glue. Right, and we're going to glue this piece of book page down. like that. So the reason why I didn't stick the flaps up for this pocket is so that I can get under here unobstructed like that. So that's the only reason we didn't stick that pocket down just yet. So we will stick it down in a moment. Okay, so again I'm just going to ink around now making that look really nice and again grungy tying in nicely. Let's go under there a little bit. Okay. And then I'm thinking we're going to pop these down here to the side like that. Now what did I do with this? Right, we've got this piece here that we've not used yet. We've got this piece here that we've not used yet. Just wondering whether we could do anything nice with this. Mm -hmm. Just literally playing around. So, very sorry about the... Um, 
deliberation going on here. Again, I think I'm going to put this in a sort of ruffle. Now, this one, would you believe, it is in fact the same fabric, but obviously it's a different piece of the pattern, you know, a different part of the pattern. So let me cut this postcard down. Like that. And again, I'm just going to add up a bit more. And again, I'm just going to go around that with we used the brown, didn't we? Brown stays on. On the other side. So I just I'm just gonna go around it like this now because that's just nice and quick and saves me actually dipping my finger into the ink. I mean I did that predominantly for the um violet, to be fair. Now this one obviously I haven't tea dyed, so let me just grab my tea bag back out. Thankfully, this is this is a new bin that I've only just put here today. So it's only got a couple of things in there so far. I mean, obviously it would only be paper rubbish anyway. It's not it's not food waste or anything like that. Well, except for the tea bag, obviously. Okay. So at least that one now is going to match the other one once it's dried. Thinking, whoops, thinking something like that. And I would like another stamped piece. We don't really want to cut into one of the other bags. I mean, is that just the most ridiculous thing? So this is obviously the handle. So let me just ink this handle up for a moment. out of the way for a minute. Now we've got the tape measure that we've just inked. It's already pretty dry because obviously you know the tea bag was quite dry anyway. So I'm just wondering whether we can ink this up now. Just so it's you know inked as well as tea dyed like that. there that one there and what I'm thinking is if we just very slightly oh my jaw is wedged now <laughs> now that was the only thing that I didn't really show was when I did my um you know horrifying look at my messy desk video I didn't actually show my um little jaw but I mean presumably you can imagine you know how tiny my drawer is from the um, style of my desk and that drawer has just got my most favorite stamps and like my stays on ink pads and things the things that I generally use all the time they're just in that drawer so that's where I'm reaching and that's why the drawer is so very frequently stuck so I'm thinking like that and then possibly some sort of roughly thing going on down the side maybe some flowers or something here or maybe here that's quite nice isn't it and then maybe maybe just a flower or something there so that looks quite pretty doesn't it so <coughs> excuse me Excuse me. Right, let's just pop this one down. So I'm just going to use my wet glue here. And actually, just before I glue that down, I'm just going to slightly, you know, tear along the edge so it's really got some texture really going along there rather than a sort of flat looking piece. Just going to tear that there at that edge like that and then I'm just going to make sure it's glued down here at the very edge there and I'm going to have this one here so if I just ink these flowers up again like that. so say we have the flowers here 
and then that there. That looks nice, doesn't it? So again, just glue the flowers down. I should really check in a second that I'm still filming because um, it's very annoying. My iPad's constantly running out of space and um, I tried the other day, I thought, right, I'm going to move some stuff off of my iPad. Um, you know, onto the cloud, like it's always kind of suggesting that you do. So I did that, and then what happened was it then said, you know, when I pressed delete, it said, this will remove all of your, you know, photos from your iPad and the cloud, which that threw me because I was only trying to delete them off of my iPad. You know, that was why I'd put them on the cloud, so that they stayed on the cloud, but went from my iPad. So... Unfortunately, it's still at the moment in a state where it's severely running out of space constantly. I can only really do like one video and then upload that video, switch my iPad off, you know, delete the video, sorry, switch my iPad off, then do another video, upload it, switch the video, uh, the, delete it, switch the thing off. And for some reason, the switching of the iPad off seems to be what you need to do to actually make it register that you've actually removed the video so um yeah it's very annoying and to be honest you know well I mean I have got a lot of stuff on there to be fair but I mean obviously it's mainly photos and things um I mean I mainly use it for my YouTube and my Etsy and things so oh I don't know anyway sure that we all have these similar types of things don't we going on but it just makes life hard you know harder work than it needs to be doesn't it because it's all frustrating right I've got just a piece there hanging off of that let me just trim that off I'm going to just glue this one down and this as I say this is like a leather piece let me just glue that there like that and then here I'm just going to ink this one up. Now I've just looked at the time, obviously, when I stood up to check it was filming. I'm up to like 50 minutes. And um, there's just a couple more things that I'd really like to do. So, you know, I hope nobody minds if I just keep on going for a few minutes more. Actually, just before I glue that down may want to just have something else maybe like a postcard or something just so as it ties right in with the other side so and again I mean these are from my lovely lilacs kit again you don't have to have that kit you really can just use you know anything you could probably get images like this from the internet you could I don't know photocopy um, maybe some postcards or something that you've got or don't use a postcard, use something else altogether. So, um, you know, it's really just, this is just suggestion. It's not, you must have these things. And as I say, I mean, particularly the flowers and things, you can get lovely images in magazines, in books. You don't have to be using this particular kit or anything like that. So, I mean, this is really all about using the freebies, <laughs> you know, the freebies that we've picked up from Ikea rather than, having an abundance of stuff you know we're using very minimal things here right so that's that then I'm going to now do my ruffles and again I'm just going to staple them here and then attempt to glue them on and the only reason that I'm stapling them separately rather than to the paper is because obviously I'm using minimal things and all that I don't necessarily want them the staples showing on the other side so that's the only reason there that we're doing that Oops. I find it quite fiddly doing the ruffles separate to the paper Oops. I 
it there or we could have it on that side. What does everyone think? I might just... I might have it like that, I think. So again, let me just take my three in one glue. Just pop that down there. And then that one there. Like that. And then we're just going to glue our pocket down. We really forgot that we hadn't done that. So there we go. So that's our pocket glued down. Now the final thing that I wanted to do really before I glue our ruffle on is I'm just going to pop this to one side for a moment. So with my other piece of tape measure I thought we could just make a quick junk journal flower out of the tape measure piece so again I'm just going to take a little scrap of card to use as my base and obviously these are just you know the flowers that you've all seen me do before so nothing very um, revolutionary or clever or anything like that they're just those just those same old ones really there we go right now hope that stays together I'm going to use my hot glue I mean I do love the hot glue for making flowers because um you know you obviously want them gluing instantly so the hot glue really does allow that Go. and then oh my gosh look at me now glued to everything so again just do the next piece and we might need three I think for this bottom layer of this flower so you don't want it to look stingy like it's not got many pieces so just apply the glue straight to the petals Okay, and then the final piece. The final piece, this is for the, the large layer at the bottom, and then we're going to obviously do another layer. Now, if for any reason you haven't seen me do these flowers before, and this is, you know, kind of a little bit quick, I do have a tutorial. Um, I it's either in my tutorials playlist or it's definitely in my fabulous flowers series playlist so it will be in one of those two places possibly even in both those places so um yeah if oops sorry just burnt my finger um yeah if you want to see a sort of slower time tutorial of these then it's on one of those two places right so for the next layer I'm just going to tear this into threes again and then I'm going to just cut it down slightly so that the middle layer is slightly smaller obviously than the um, the outer layer so again exactly the same thing I'm doing but it's just now it's it's smaller so just take that and then we just glue it on okay this one and the next one Sorry that this video has ended up so long. Um, <laughs> I mean, I really didn't know what I was going to do with these bits from Ikea. And I just, I picked them up and thought, oh, brilliant. You know, I'm going to do a video with these, these free things that I've got here. Because we all like something that's, that's free, don't we? But I, as I say, didn't really know what. So, um, yeah, I apologise that this is now going on a little bit long but it's obviously because of the nature of the improvisation that was um, taking place right 
last piece. Glue that down. Just in that little gap there. Oops. Just press that in with the wipe there because uh, my glue is pretty hot now. Okay. Right. So that's my little flower. And then what you can do, obviously that has been tea dyed, but what you could also do is then. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Oh. <laughs> Why? Why do I not see other people like that? Oh, honestly. Right. So we're just inking up around the edge of the flower so it's, you know, nice and grungy. So bring our paper bag back in. Turn it over. Now, where did I put that ruffle? There we go. So again, I'm just going to... Oops, ink along the ruffle a little bit more. Trying to be quite gentle not to literally tear the staples apart from it, but there we go. So then we're going to staple our ruffle, uh, glue our ruffle down. So I will just run some glue straight along there, like that. Oh, I only inked the wrong side. Oh, gosh, what an idiot. Right, let me just quickly do this side now. Because <laughs> I'm rushing now, because I'm obviously aware that I've taken up so much of everybody's time. I'm trying to now rush to get finished. So, right, we're now inking the right side, which, you know, probably is worth checking which side that you want to ink. Right, and we're just going to glue that on. And as you can see, at the gluing stage, you can obviously then fiddle around and glue it, you know, how you want it to be glued. So just press it down there. And then we've got our cute flower, which I think I'm going to pop there. Um, now, one more thing for the flower, obviously, it doesn't have a centre at the moment. So... Again, you could use anything you like for a centre. I mean, actually, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? So I'm just going to use that. So again, obviously, using a button, going on the assumption that most people probably can obtain a button from somewhere. Oops. There we go. There we go. And then we're going to obviously glue that onto onto our final piece. Come on, glue. Like that. Just hold that down for a couple of moments. Oh, come out of the way. Woof. Messy, 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 messy. Right, okay. And that's our stuffed paper bag using mainly free things from Ikea. We used obviously the, um, you know, the leather samples. We used the little fabric samples. We've used the tape measures. Um, we've used obviously the paper bags. Um, and then we used obviously book pages, you know, not from Ikea. Oh, we used the car ticket, more paper bag there. Um, more of the fabric samples, the handles from the paper bag and some more fabric samples and the leather sample there. Um, I mean, I think that looks really, really, really pretty. And we really have used very minimal um, supplies. And as I say, you really could use just magazines from, you know, book magazines, images from magazines or book page or anything for these kinds of images. Um, you know, they do not have to be something expensive that you've purchased or anything like that. Uh, so just to sort of demonstrate, obviously, you could then just pop in your little pieces um just got another piece here so you know you've got a few different little places to tuck things there you could obviously tuck in some pieces here into this pocket and then obviously you've got the whole bag to put other bits and pieces in there so i hope that you like it and um <laughs> you know if you go to ikea obviously it's worth just picking up some of the um paper bags and some of the 
paper tape measures and obviously some of the fabric samples so um yeah a bit of free crafting going on there so thanks very much for watching and i hope you will like the video thanks then and see you again soon thanks then bye